Hey guys, so today I want to do quickly a video here to talk about the next generation iPhone, the iPhone 6S, which it's uh, probably going to be named, we're probably going to see a 6S and a 6S Plus or something like that, same as we had uh, last year with Apple unveiling this iPhone 6 and uh, the iPhone 6S, um, or I mean the iPhone 6 here and the iPhone 6 Plus. So this one was 4.7 inch and then we had the 5.5 inch. Uh, iPhone 6 Plus. So let's talk a little bit about the specs here. We're expecting to see a new iPhone come here in September, Apple on wheel, which they usually do every year. So what are the rumors? Well, first of all, the rumors at the moment is pointing to a big thing inside of the next generation iPhone and that may be that it, it might come with one of these uh, force touch displays that we did see in uh, the brand new MacBook Pro's uh, trackpad and also in uh, the brand new Apple Watch. So basically how this works is it with haptic feedback, uh, how you, you, it can sense how you can push down harder on the display uh, to make it um, uh, respond like it's another click and uh, you can interact uh, uh, you can do various things then with maybe apps with calendar maybe you push down a little harder and it will respond uh, with uh, you maybe add a calendar event something like that so this haptic feedback um, uh, uh, force touch display is definitely going to be interesting you can definitely check it out more uh, on the uh, new macbook pros that is well in the trackpad as i said uh, a big thing you should also know is that uh, with these leaked uh, kind of rear uh, casing or uh, this um, shell here of um, what uh, supposedly may be the iPhone 6s is that it has the same kind of uh, design on the outside you can't really uh, see a difference here uh, what you can see though uh, is that uh, it, it might be a little bit thicker so the current iPhone 6 is um, 6.9 millimeters in thickness and the rumors here with this new iPhone is that it might be um, 7.1 millimeters in thickness same kind of thickness as you do get in the iphone 6 plus so this one is 6.9 millimeters thickness and i'm pretty sure you do get um you do get that uh, 7.1 millimeters in thickness in the iphone 6 plus and the iphone 6 plus might be uh, like um, 7.4 millimeters thickness i did see today so not a massive difference. The most portion of everything seems to be like it's gonna be about the same, but could still be pretty interesting to know that. So what is more rumored here? Uh, also um, some changes in uh, where the, uh, the stuff is located on the inside because they're gonna change some stuff on the inside. Uh, and uh, for example, it looks like they are first gonna have a uh, on the outside at least that they're going to use a new aluminum that they're using on the same on the apple watch port which is uh, 7000 series aluminum which should be a little bit more durable as i have understood this was also another schematics here where you can see um, the iphone 6s and it looks to be about the same here uh, as the current iphone uh, but what's interesting here is that it seems like we're gonna get a new QCOM chip here inside of the brand new iPhone 6s probably uh, Which can handle LTE speeds up to 300 megabits per second and also uh, a, a Cortex A9 chip from Apple with two gigabytes of RAM So usually iPhones have had like one gigabytes of RAM and now it seems like they're gonna upgrade there to two gigabytes uh, But most of this like faster speeds here with this new QCOM I think it's called like MDM 9 to 635 m chipset uh, 300 megabits per second at the moment that that, that will double the speeds uh, of the, the iphones and that's going to be really really nice and then also it seems like it's going to have a new nfc chipset for apple pay so a little bit um, a little bit better there and then also it looks like a big thing here is that it might see 4k video recording and a brand new 12 megapixel camera so usually apple has been going with their 8 megapixel camera 
so it looks more megapixels finally uh, i really really do enjoy when i can zoom in on my on, on my pictures on my galaxy note 4 so this could be nice 240 fps slow motion i think that's already well below but 4k video recording that uh, sounds extremely nice here and this was a leaked uh, internal document it looks like something like that so that definitely sounds nice so Overall, you're not going to notice that much differences on the outside, but um, two gigabytes of RAM and a 12 megapixel camera and faster LTE speeds and maybe this force touch display. Uh, it sounds like some nice things. So in September, we might see that. So definitely stay tuned for that. And of course, this is just rumors, uh, but uh, it is at least a little bit interesting, I find. So um, yeah, definitely stay tuned for September and uh, I'm going to see if we're going to get some new iPhones very, very soon. Have a lovely day. Peace.